Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make Mr. Silly on the Rainbow Loom. I also have a tutorial for Mr. Happy and Little Miss Sunshine and Mr. Bump. So this is my fourth in the series collection from Mr. Men and Little Miss series. So let's get started. You will need a single loom, staggered position, and you'll need orange for his hat. I used jelly yellow for his body and his arms and his legs. You can use any type of yellow. In the book, it's a little bit darker yellow. And his feet, in this one I used uh, neon yellow with some black. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use a nice little tan color with black for the feet, for the shoes. So let's get started with the orange. And it's double bands all the way down. So I'm going to do a double from this pin to the right. Another double going to the left, and now we're going to work down, and we're going to go four down in the middle. So four stitches of double going down in the middle. So one, two, three, and number four. Now on the right side, it's going to be five, including this, so one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, left side the same, five, so that's one, two, four and five. Okay, so that's his hat. And now we're going to work on the body. And we're going to do three stitches of yellow in the middle of double. So I'm doing jelly yellow right now. So one, two, and three. Okay, then we're going to do two stitches on this side. So one and two. Then we're going to do two more on the left side. So one and two. Okay, so now we're going to work on his feet area. And I'm going to use the tan for this. I'm going to use two tan and one black. Okay, and then we're going to do another two tan, or you can do yellow and black. And then we're going to do two stitches of the jelly yellow, and then connect it to the body. So we'll do two of these, and then one more for connecting. So let's get that done, and we're going to do it on the hook. So get your three bands right here. Make sure the black is in the middle. Put it on the hook. That's one. And then we're going to twist it and make two on there. So I'll show you again. Very easy. Put your hook through, twist, and go back on there. And then you're going to take your other three bands Put it on the hook, grab this, place it on top of that triple band, put it back on your hook, and that is one shoe. Then you can take a single, twist it on itself, then you place the shoe on there, and I have one little tan band. Place the yellow back on the hook, so it looks like that. Take another single yellow twist, place it on the hook, 
and just like that. So that's one leg. Then you take another single, twist, place that on the single twist, and then we're going to place it on the loo. So I'm going to place it right here on this bottom pin, and then the other part on this pin. So you have one leg right there. Now we're going to repeat it and make the other leg. So I'm going to have one black, one tan, one tan, black, tan, three yellows. Three. Let's do that again. Place the black in the middle. Just wrap it around so it's around twice. Then I'm going to take that again, the triple, place that on the triple, place it back on the hook, take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, slide that shoe on that yellow, take another yellow, single twist, Place it on the hook, slide it on there. Okay, so we got one done. Single twist again. Place it on the hook. I want to make sure everything's perfect. Then we're going to place it on the loom. Okay, just like that. Your capping band right here is going to be a single wrapped around four times. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we can work on the hands and the arm. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'm going to put this to the side so it's a little easier to see too. So we're going to work on the hand, and it's going to be a single. Wrap it on. We're going to do four digits for this. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Take another yellow single twist. Place it on the hook. Place that little capping band on there. It's right in the middle this back on the hook and that's one digit. We need to make three more. I'm just going to put a pile of yellow right here. So one, two, three, four. Single twist. Place it on the single twist. Place it back on the hook. Here's number two. Okay, so then we're going to make another one. One, two, three, four. Single twist. On the hook, so it's three total. One more. One, two, three, four. Single twist. Place that last one on that single twist. Okay, so you have a total of four on the hook now. We're going to take a single, twist it, and then place all four on this single twist. One, two, three, and four. Place it back on the hook, and that's one hand. We're going to take another single twist and place that hand on the arm. Okay, then we're going to take a double and place this on the double. Okay, we're going to place it on the loom. You can put it right here. Okay, you can 
and take another double, place it here, and then your capping band is one single wrapped three times around. So one, two, and three. Okay, so that's one side extension to make him rounder, just like this. I'm going to repeat it on this side, so I'm going to make another one right here. Let's get some more yellows. So we make another hand, single, one, two, three, four, single twist, place that on the single twist, place it back on the hook, here's one, one, two, three, four. Single twist, back on the hook, here's two, two, three, and four. It's just a lot of repetition. Okay, so that's three, now we're going to do one more. Two, three, and Four. Single twist. And place that last digit on there. Okay, so you have four total. Take a single twist. Place it on the hook. Then slide all four on there. Put this back on the hook. There's one hand. Take another single twist. There's one more. Okay, take a double, place that on the double, and then you can place it right here. Okay, place the hand to the side, take another double, and capping band is single three times. One, two, and three. Okay, we'll put this to the side. We're going to loom these forward. Okay, so just go underneath that capping band. Loom it forward. Okay, now we'll do this one. So now we're going to take this off the loom, keep this on your hook, your capping band will be right here. So we're placing that capping band right there, and then we're placing this end band on this pin. So it's going to be from the capping band, one, two, three, fourth pin up where the orange is. So I'll stretch it. Place it just like that, so it's on the fourth pin where this orange is. I'm going to repeat it over here. Take it off the loom. Capping band is going to be right here. Just going to grab that capping band, place it here and place it on one, two, three, fourth pin. Okay, so that is the extension. So now we're going to work on the rim of his hat, which is right here. It's going to be one single orange wrapped on the hook four times. So I'll show you. One, two, three, four. 
take a double orange, place that little band in the middle, and place it on the loom just like that, I mean on the hook. We will be placing that right here. So just where you put this yellow, you're going to place that little rim right here. Okay, I'm going to put another one right here. So let's take a single. One, two, three, four. Take a double. Place it in the middle, back on the hook, and place it right here. Push that down. rim to the side. Okay, just like that. So now we're going to make his big nose and you're going to need a double band of yellow. Put it on your hook, put it once around, then take the big clump right there and put it another time around. Okay, so that's one Way to make the nose. If you want a different way, you can just take a double and wrap it around the hook four times. So I like this way because it's more compact. So you can just do a double and wrap four times. Okay, so then you take a single, place it, place that little nose or big nose on the single. All the bands go in the middle and then we're going to place it right here on these pins. Okay, so it's one, two, three pin, number three on the, from the bottom, right across. And now we can do structural bands. You need a single yellow and we're just going to place it right here in the middle. And we're going to do a big smiley face. And the way that I do this is one single black band. It's pretty easy. And we're just going to place it right here on the rim. And then when we start looming him, you'll see um, how the smiley face is going to take shape. Okay, but we need this band right here on this rim. Now we can continue doing the structural bands. Okay, we're going to need yeah, an orange, and we're going to place it, I'm going to take this, the black band off first. Place it on this pin, connect it to that one, and connect it to this one. So it's an upside down triangle. And take another single orange, place the one again, and then single orange, and instead of doing that triangle, we're going to bring it up one more, so it looks like this. Now I can put the little smiley face on top. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure it looks like this, okay? And we're gonna start looming right now. My top band is this band. So I'm gonna grab that first. So go underneath the cap and band, find this band Bring it to the right pin. Okay, then my other band is going to be this band right here. I'm going to go underneath, bring it to the left pin, and then my middle band right here. Okay, now I'm going to start to the loom to the right up to this pin. So we're only looming the bottom, okay? Nothing on the top. Take your time so none of the bands snap. And now we're gonna grab this orange 
and just stay right there. Now I'm gonna go to the left and remember we're just doing the bottom. Okay, now to the orange. Okay, now we're gonna loom the middle. Now we want to keep the nose in the middle of this band. So I'm going to just loom forward and make sure the nose stays in the middle. And when we take it off the loom, we're going to make sure it comes out too. Okay, so the black band. We want him to be a smiley face. So I'm just going to take the top part of the band, bring it down top part of the brand, bring it down, just like that, and you can hold it on here so it doesn't get in the way. And we're keeping this back part of the band right here. Don't touch this. We're going to take the orange now and loom on top of it. Okay, we'll loom the middle row. all the way to the top. Okay, now we'll do the right, and we're only grabbing the bottom bands. It's very thick in this section, so just be careful. Okay. Just looming forward. And top, loom to the middle pin. Same here, just the bottom band. Looming forward. Okay, push that down. This is what your layout should look like. So I'll keep it to the side if you want to see it that way. You need a double band of orange to make a slip knot top. Okay, so I'm going to take it off the loom starting at the bottom. They're all tight bands, so take it off slowly. Bring that mouth up. This way. Okay, so now he looks a little mangled, but you have to stretch out the side of the hat, stretch out his body, bring his mouth down, find his nose. It has to be in that middle stitch. Bring the nose out, bring the arms down, legs down. Hat straight and bring it to the, bring the hat out so it's more of a shape. Now to hide the excess bands in the back, just put the hook underneath and tuck it in. Okay, and this is Mr. Silly. I think he came out really cute. So, and you can pull it down more too to hide the, the black band in the back. Smush his hat in, shape it out. And you have one more thing that I like to do. I take three bands to make a little rim on his hat. So I'm gonna take three bands of orange, place it underneath the rim, 
and on top of his notes. Okay, pull his smile down, and he came out super cute. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to make Mr. Happy, Little Miss Sunshine, or Mr. Bump, come back to my channel. I have them too. Okay, see you soon. Bye.